Hey guys, I want to do a video about body armor, uh, soft body armor in particular. I've had a lot of PMs from guys asking questions about body armor, uh, what type of body armor we wear at this department, uh, threat levels, things like that. I'm just going to do a quick video. I'm not an expert as far as uh, body armor goes. I'm going to show you. I'll show you three examples here and uh, explain to you roughly about their stopping capabilities. Uh, Starting down here on this end, this is a second chance. It's a level 2A, which is the minimum for soft body armor. I think there may have been a level 1 at one time. Or you don't see it, and the NIJ, they don't recognize it in their standards. So, But this would be the minimum as far as soft body armor goes. This is level 2A. Uh, this vest right here, like I said, is by second chance. Uh, and then right here, this vest right here is by matrix it's actually a level two so it's a step up from the level 2a vest um, and then finally over here this is a level 3a vest this one's by safari land this is actually the current vest that I wear every day and it's issued by our department uh, good vest um, it's I would say it's the as far as soft body armor goes it's, it's, it's about as good as you're going to do um, of course there's level four level five armor but that and you start dealing with ceramic plates and steel plates and not practical for day-to-day -day use that stuff like our SWAT guys use on uh, for entries and things of that nature but anyways um, just taking a quick look at these three this this second chance vest here this isn't actually mine now when I started there in 95 I was issued a second chance vest very similar to this one same threat level anyways 2A except mine had side panels on it and you can see this one doesn't have any side panels it's just a uh, just a front and back uh, panel as opposed to these here where they have like the matrix here has the side panel and then of course then my safari land has side panels as well which wrap around and give you pretty good protection on your side um, the two the level 2A vest down here by uh, second chance um, generally it defeats rounds like the or what it's designed to do is defeat like 22 long rifle, 22 magnum, uh, 32 long AC, 32 ACP, that kind of stuff, 380s, uh, 38 special, 9 millimeter. Some of the slower, heavier rounds, 9 millimeter. We used to carry the 147 grain uh, shots, stuff like that. The slower, bigger rounds. Um, same with it'll stop some 357 rounds. Some of the slower ones, less velocity. Uh, 40 caliber Smith and Wesson, uh, even some slower 10 millimeter, 41 Magnum, and even I believe some 44 Magnum rounds also. But like I say, we're talking about the low end spectrum of those rounds. Um, and the 45 long cold and the 45 ACP, of course, and 12 gauge uh, double alt buck. So it it covers quite a spectrum there. But like I say, most of those rounds, the the hotter rounds like the 10 millimeter and the 44 Magnums, we're talking really soft pointed rounds um, the lower lower of the velocities um, uh, the next vest here this was actually mine um, it was mine prior to getting my current safari land this was my matrix it's a good vest it's a level two it's a step up from the the one I was issued uh, the level 2a that I got when I first started but anyway this one's level two um, it covers all the rounds that I mentioned from the second chance vest over here uh, but in addition it it defeats some of the higher velocity 9 millimeter rounds, 357, uh, 10 millimeter, 41 magnum, 44 magnum, those kind of rounds. The uh, the jacketed hollow points, the the just the higher velocity rounds. Um, and then my Safari Land 3A, which is what I'm currently using, um, I wear every day. Very good vest, excellent coverage, side coverage is excellent on this vest. Fairly comfortable. Uh, a little bit thicker than the other two, but um, adds more protection. And this one is pretty much all the handgun rounds. Uh, uh, it's capable of stopping as far as the 9 millimeter, the the really light 115 grain. Those up that are pushing 1500 feet a second. This this is supposed to stop those. Um, the 44 Magnum round out of a carbine, 18 20 inch barrel. This is supposed to stop it. Like and the 357 Sig. Uh, this vest is designed to stop that round as well, and 12 gauge slugs, um, one ounce rifled slugs. I don't know if I'd want to be on the receiving end of it. The blunt force trauma alone would probably uh, 
cause some major damage, and we'll go into that here in a little bit anyways, but, uh, and even, uh, there's a nasty, oh, a little nasty round out there, the 7.62 Takarev round, that 7.62 by 25 round, that Soviet round, that is a nasty little round, but this vest right here will, is designed to stop that round, whereas these two vests here, which I have worn on duty, will not. It generally will not stop the 7.62 Takarev round, so, anyways, that's just a little bit about the ballistics or stopping capabilities, things like that. Um, I just want to show you something right quick. There's actually, if you can see on this one here, there's a there's an, a pocket here on the front. There's one on this one as well, but it's more internal. And this one here has a pocket on the front. And these are designed for trauma, what they call trauma plates, trauma whatever. Um, I got a couple right here, for example. They got some soft ones. It's basically just a piece of Kevlar that you insert here in the front uh, gives you a little added protection and reduces the blunt force trauma of uh, getting hit with a round um, just uh, it may not penetrate the vest but it could cause a lot of uh, a lot of internal injuries a lot of uh, could do a lot of damage even without penetrating so this what these are designed for to absorb some of that impact some of that shock and as you can see this is a soft Kevlar and then I have another insert over here that's a uh, K30 insert by second chance. Um, it's actually a piece of steel. It's kind of a uh, wrapped in like a uh, fiber, some kind of Kevlar fiber. But it's actually a piece of steel. And this 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 plate, when it's in, inserted in the front of the vest here, uh, it's really it's designed. It can stop, I believe. I don't know if you can read it. My camera quality is pretty poor, but um, a 7.6233 ball, is, which is the 30 carbine, um, it's supposed to stop that. Uh, rifled slugs as well. If you put this in one of those lower end vests over there, it should stop the rifled slugs. Uh, 44 Magnum out of a carbine, and uh, 9mm, really hot uh, steel jacketed armor piercing rounds, which are illegal. You're not going to see a lot of those around anywhere, but this uh, plate's designed to stop that. And like I say, it's, and I actually wear this, I use a plate like this as well as the soft plate in conjunction with my vest they fit right in the front pocket there so gives a little added protection there in the center um, uh, it, it, every little bit counts I mean matter of fact I got a funny story it was actually this vest this vest here has a plate in as well I had a uh, intoxicated female one time I believe it was around the 4th of July many years ago uh, take a swing at me she punched me in the chest and broke broke a bone in her hand didn't realize uh, had hard had some body armor here but anyway it's a funny story uh, I tell you what, just side note, there's nothing meaner than a drunk female. I tell you that from years of experience. Uh, they get liquored up. Some of them get, I'd rather deal with a man any day than a, a wild drunk female, but that's, that's a story for another video. But anyways, this is just a quick look at these vests. Um, uh, those standards, the rounds, what I was telling you about, what they're designed to stop, those are set forth by the NIJ. I believe it's National Institute of Justice. I think they're actually a division of the Department of Justice. Um, they do all the testing and uh, decide, you know, the ballistic capabilities of each vest. And they do some, I mean, under control testing. I'm saying, I mean, ideal conditions. Uh, so, anyways, uh, now there are other vests. I don't know. Our AC has tested some vests recently. Um, these are just ballistic vests. These are designed for handgun ammunition. Um, they have no uh, stab resistant capabilities I guess for knives, picks, whatever. They're, they'll cut right through these. It's not going to give you any protection. Maybe a slashing but not a stabbing. A uh, knife will go right through these. Um, we have been looking at recently some vests that uh, um, that have the capability of stopping uh, handgun rounds as well as stabbing attacks. I think they're a little more expensive but they're trying them out. They're basically for um, maybe our deputies that work in the jail uh, for protection against shanks, homemade knives, things like that. Um, they're not as predominant here in America. I know uh, you see more of those over in uh, the UK, European countries. They're they're more into that, I guess, because maybe less less handguns and more knife attacks. I'm not really sure, but they're they're more predominant in the European countries than they are here in America. So, but um, that's just a quick look at the body armor. I like say I'm. I'm no expert. I may have forgotten to mention something. If if I was wrong on any of my data points, please let me know. And if I remember something at a later time, I'll annotate it. But um, I'm actually going to do a uh, 
probably in the next week or so do a uh, I guess a body armor torture test per se. This vest here um, like I say it wasn't ever issued to me. It's kind of small. It may have been a female or smaller male's vest. It doesn't have the side panels but I'm actually going to take this vest and um, do a little uh, little ballistic testing. I mean, it's, like I say, it's not going to be to the NIJ standards. It's just going to be for your information and mine. Just something fun to do. See, uh, just knowing that I wore this level of protection one time, I just want to see what some various rounds might do to it. Um, I'll probably start with start with 22 long rifle and uh, probably shoot some. I imagine some 380s, uh, 38 special, maybe, and definitely some 9 millimeters, some 40. Smith & West is maybe the current round we carry now, and uh, some 45 ACP, and I'm probably going to go ahead and do some 44 Magnum as well. I don't have a 44 Magnum revolver. I have a, a Marlin 1994, uh, 1894 rather, something like that. I'm sorry, I forget, but I have one a carbine that shoots that uh, the 44 Magnum round. We may try that as well as some double alt buck and just see how it stands up to the the punishment. I don't think these are really designed for multiple hits, but we'll we'll put it put it to the test, a little torture test, and see how well it, he it holds up. So just something fun to do. That'll probably I'll probably do that later on this week. But um, if you have any questions about the body armor, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, I know I, I one thing I would say is if you're if you're interested in purchasing body armor, go with the new stuff. I mean, a lot of people don't may not realize it but body armor has a uh, shelf life um, all these tests I was referring to all these rounds are capable of stopping or done under this is brand new they use brand new unissued uh, uh, ballistic vest um, so after like I say they have a shelf life some people don't know that most most manufacturers say five years and that's with day-to-day -day heavy wear usage um, kind of like this when I wear it on a daily day basis um, it's generally only good for about five years I mean once you introduce body uh, perspiration sweat water all kinds of elements the ballistic capabilities begin to actually uh, deteriorate um, and so and this vest here is actually I think this one was actually manufactured in 1995 so it's it's 15 years old it's well out of date I don't know how much wear and tear it got but it's I mean, it's definitely expired so I don't suspect that it will uh, maybe not perform quite as well due to that fact, but um, anyways, I'll get that out at a later date, and um, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me. I appreciate you watching, guys. Thank you.